Hi, I'm Brad Cibrian with Conservative Orthopedics, and I'm going to take you through the sequence laid on your back to build trunk stability, as well as the very beginning of posterior chain hamstring and glute awareness, which is a lot of times a big problem with many of the patients that we see. So this position laying on your back, we're going to show some different variations to. This one's going to involve a ball under your feet. So laying down on your back, we're going to go through, this is a pretty basic sequence that I give a lot of people initially, whether it's with back pain, hip pain, and I'm trying to get them to engage some strength in their stomach or trunk and maintain the stability as we're activating some different areas in the hips as well as the shoulders. A lot of our issues tend to come from this compensation where we lose that stability in our trunk as we start doing these dynamic movements. So that's a big part of this. So the first thing you're going to do is land on your back, hands on your belly, and you can see I have my feet propped up on this ball and I have my knees right around 90 degrees. So first I'm going to have you go through a little bit of breathing where with your hands applying a little bit of pressure to your abdomen as some resistance, as you breathe in you're going to push your belly into your hands and exhale. And once again, and exhale. And you would do maybe five to ten breaths and then I would have you take your hands to the sides of your uh, trunk right around your pelvis and try to do the same thing pushing your uh, abdominal area laterally or out to the side to put pressure into your hands. So as I breathe in, I feel that expansion out to the side more so than just into the front. These are kind of tricky and a lot of people have problems getting these initial breathing patterns. So same thing, a little pressure pushing into the sides of my right below my rib cage as I breathe in. I feel that expansion outward into my hands. Same thing five to ten breaths. So now next I'm going to have you maintain a little tension in your stomach and this is going to be a little bit more of a pushing out motion. So once again I tell people to cough or laugh and they'll feel their stomach not suck in but lightly push outward. So it's a little bit of an outward push into your fingertips. You're going to maintain that as you lift one leg off the ball and at the same time this leg that's on the ball is driving downward. And you'll pause for five seconds and then relax. Same thing, stomach tightens first, I lift one leg as I push the opposite leg into the ball, hold five seconds, relax. And you're trying to do maybe 10 to 15 on each leg if possible. Now the next thing you're going to do is the same precursor of tense your stomach, a little bit of pressure into both heels, and then from here you'll take your arms up and relax. So stomach engages first. And then I lightly push my heels into the ball, so I feel this co-contraction of my stomach engaging and my hamstrings having a little bit of tension in them. And once again, holding three to five seconds, trying for somewhere in the 10 to 15 neighborhood. And then the last piece is going to be very similar. Stomach engages, heels push down into the ball. I maintain that, holding a towel pillowcase or just taking my hands slowly overhead. Really making sure that as I go overhead, I keep that tension in my stomach and my lower back flat into the ground and then come back up. Same idea as I take my arms over my head if I have any tightness in my shoulders I may have a tendency as I get to maybe here to feel like I can't keep my lower back against the floor and I don't want to start to arch at that point I would stop and come back. So I always want to stop short of feeling that I have to compensate on my lower back and once again I would try for 10 to 15 going through this motion slowly. So three pieces, one is breathing, one is going to be then lifting each leg, another is just pushing down into both heels, and the last one is then going to be the tension in the heels and the stomach as I reach overhead, trying for possibly 10 to 15 of each one.